Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's me, Don Weave, here back with another episode for a brand new part for What If Naruto Was in ReZero Part 4. Let's just get right into it. If you haven't already, make sure to watch the previous episode so you know what's going on. And here we go. Let's get started. <laughs> As we already know from last time, Naruto as well as Rem were staying behind the train of Julius so that Naruto could master more of his spirit arts. This was when Naruto would finally unlock Sage Mode as well as Spirit Sage Mode which is where he combines Nature Energy Chakra along with the power of spirits from ReZero to create this Spirit Sage Mode. Anyway, Naruto and Rem have decided to head back to the mansion to check up with Roswell and ask him about Naruto's new ability, as well as with Naruto to go back and check up on Amelia, as he'd been worried about her since she had left without saying goodbye to him before, which was quite unusual for her as she had always been rather one to let her, him know when he, she'd be going anywhere. Naruto and Rem would leave immediately as they take a ground dragon to get out of the city. As they start heading back towards the mansion, Rem and Naruto would inevitably run into a strange fog, as Naruto would be in a, str in a rather large hurry, and Rem wouldn't try to stop him. As they're going along, Naruto would notice this fog and ask Rem if she knows what's going on. Rem would be terrified, as she tells Naruto that they have to get out of here as soon as possible, as this, this fog that they're running, they've run into is that of the White Whale. Suddenly we hear a tremendous roar, as it can smell Naruto's scent of the witch. Rem is terrified, as her eyes open widely, telling Naruto that they need to get going, and she tells Naruto that he has to ride as fast as he can, as she turns around to go and jump out of the carriage. Naruto would grab Rem's shoulder and tell her to keep going, and that he'll hold the whale off, asking if it's just some big fish flowing through the sky. Rem would nod, telling him about as much as she could about the white whale, as suddenly the eye would open right next to the carriage. Naruto would quickly become enraged as he creates a massive Rasengan and shoves it into the White Whale's eye. We can hear a roar as the entire side of the White Whale's face is disfigured by Naruto's Rasengan. The White Whale falls to the side, but this would only anger as it begins to rush after Naruto and Rem even more. Naruto would be shocked as its speed is outpacing them as Naruto tells Rem to keep going. He creates several hundred Shadow Clones all rushing behind with Rasengans, Kamikaze blasting into the Whale with nothing damaging it. Damn it, I didn't want to use this yet, he would think, as he then t sits down in the carriage telling Rem to give him a few minutes. As he sits there charging, he, he, it's hard for him to focus as the white whale's roaring behind them. Naruto would suddenly have accumulated enough, he says he's got it, when he opens his eyes and suddenly the blue and light pigment would op open around him, as suddenly he fo wa awakens into spirit sage mode. As Naruto opens his eyes, now in spirit sage mode, he can see the energy all around the white whale. This is a mob beast, you would think, as you can see the dark energy pulsating around it, with white clouds of fog coming from around its innards. Naruto would tell Rem to get ready, as the carriages are going to be bumpy for a second. Naruto would hold his hand up as he creates a Rasengan, then closes his eyes, talking to the spirits. I need as much wind energy as I can. Please, spirits, give me as much power as you can for this final attack. I don't know if I'll have enough chakra to take this thing down otherwise. As suddenly wind begins to spin around their Sangon, their Sangon itself will begin to sharpen its edges around, as it almost looks like a planet with a ring around it, as we see several wind spirits surrounding it, speeding up faster and faster, as white energy surrounds their Sangon. Let's go. Spirit art! Wind style of Sangon! As he takes their Sangon and throws it as hard as he can, chucking it like a baseball at the white whale, it would crash into the white whale. Little did Naruto know, however, that unlike Chakra, the white whale's bristles of its fur are actually resistant against magic, and so as the wind crashes into the white whale, it would do minimal damage, as it's not a piercing attack, causing the white whale to become only more enraged, as it now has a dent in its forehead from the Rasengan's blast. Rem, he would turn around, as suddenly Rem had disappeared. No! What happened to- Suddenly Naruto would turn around as the carriage flips over, as the white whale now lands there, its fog beginning to surround Naruto. Naruto will pull himself up as he gets ready for a fight, telling he's not going to go down this easily, as he charges towards the right white whale, battling as hard as he can. After hours of an exhausting battle, Naruto is completely enveloped in the fog, as he's erased from existence. 
Suddenly, we hear the ReZero sound effect as Naruto opens his eyes, waking up just as he had finished completing his training with Julius, and he and Rem were about to leave the city. I... What was... He would think, as suddenly he would realize what's going on. He would tell Rem that something bad's going on right now, and that they have to get away from the white whale that's coming for them. Rem would be questioning this as she asked what's going on, with Naruto explain that they were just... He would then realize what happened as he clutches his chest, realizing that he had just died again, and that that... What had, had just happened was returned by death, he would think, as he realizes that he had loaded back in time by dying. He remembers the first time he had done this before as well, when Elsa had killed him when he was protecting Amelia. He'd be breathing heavily now as he calms down, telling Rem that they need to avoid this path when they leave today. Rem would nod, asking why, as it was the faster way, with Naruto telling her just to trust him. Rem would take him at his word, as she doesn't know exactly why, but Naruto would probably have a good reason for this, just as she would think of Subaru. Naruto and Rem would take this path as they continue to drive back to the mansion with this longer route. As they arrive back at the mansion, taking this time to stop at an inn, Naruto would be sleeping when the door would open and Rem would come into the room wearing her nighttime clothes just like she had with Subaru. She would come sit on the bed and ask Naruto how he's doing. Naruto wouldn't really have any issue for coming in there as he sees Rem as well as Amelia and everybody at the mansion just like he sees his friends at the Leaf Village. He would say he's doing fine, as he's looking through all these books, not really even attempting to read them, but more so just so he can say he tried to. Naruto would sigh as Rem looks at him, telling him he's, that he's got the book upside down. He would throw the book onto the side of his nightstand as he looks up at the ceiling. He would ask Rem what might be so important that they need to get to the mansion, and Amelia wouldn't even tell him what she had left for. He would stare up into the ceiling, thinking this. Rem would blush as she tells Naruto that it's probably something having to do with the royal selection. She would work on healing Naruto's gait as he's sitting there, with Naruto saying it beginning to laugh as it's a tingly feeling. Rem would then go to sleep later that day, as Naruto would go to sleep as well. Both of them would wake up in the morning as they get in their carriage and begin to head towards the mansion. As they get to the mansion, the sight that would be waiting for them would be horrendous. Suddenly, several witch cultists would surround the entire carriage as they can sense Naruto's presence. Naruto would sense them as well as he gets up, telling Rem that he needs to get out of the carriage now, grabbing Rem and holding her as he then jumps out of the carriage onto a tree. The carriage would explode, as suddenly all attacks would have been attacked towards it, with their ground dragon being severely hurt and being killed off. Naruto would be sad that the ground dragon had died, as they had no reason to kill it. Suddenly all the witch members would look up towards Naruto. How do they know I'm here, he would think, as he tries to conceal his presence by silencing his chakra. They can still see him, though, based off of the scent of the witch, as Naruto tells Rem that they, she needs to run, and that he'll take care of this. He would crash down to the ground below, asking what they're after him for. Naruto pulled two kunai out as he says if they really want to fight him, then they should get ready. They'd all come rushing towards Naruto as he gets into a taijutsu bout with them, using an upper palm, striking it into the chin of one, sending them flying into the air. Rem would then jump into the fray, activating her demon horn mode, as she goes into her demon form, pulling out her incredibly long mace that she would use to attack all the witch cultists. Naruto would continue to help as well as he creates shadow clones, outnumbering them with their own. As they would continue to battle the witch cultists, this is when more would arrive. Naruto and Rem would easily take care of them, as they then would then begin to walk towards the village. The sight that they would be seeing, though, would be something Rem and Naruto could never unseen. As Naruto walks into the village, having memories of playing with those kids from before, as well as talking to all the adults back before when he had saved them from the mob beast, all he would see would be burning piles. Piles and piles of the villagers, all dead and rotting, burning, as he sees all of them in his mind. What? What's going on here, he would think. As Naruto begins to cry, I... What? What? What happened here? Rem would be sitting there shocked as her eyes look hollow, staring at the burning village, seeing all the swords of the dead as well as all of the fellow witch cultists that had come there to destroy them. They've gone too far this time, she would think, as Naruto would be on his knees on the ground, staring in shock, never feeling such pain in his life, never seeing such absolute, absolute butchering of an entire village. This is, this is wrong, he would think, as his hands are on the ground, shaking. I don't want to look. Rem would pat him on the shoulder and say they have to go check the mansion. Naruto would stand up shakily as he walks past, opening some doors on his way. This is when we see Petra. Petra's head dislocated from her body. Naruto would almost vomit as he continues walking away, not able to turn around to turn his back to see on those of the people he knew, now dead. 
Naruto inside would be shook, as Kurama even is horrified by the things he's seeing, never having even seen Shinobi do such putrid acts to on some basis villagers who had nothing against them. Kurama would be horrified as well, but also quite interested as this could be an opportunity for him to take over Naruto, not knowing about this return by death power that Naruto had talked about earlier. Naruto and Rem would finally arrive at the mansion as they slightly opened the door. Rem would be gasped loud as she sees Re her sister Rom laying there as she had tried to protect one of the children from the village. Oh my god, Rem would think as she falls out of her demon horn mode, beginning to tear, cry tears as she t pets her sister Rom's hair. Rom, Nason, are, are you okay? As Rom's cold, empty eyes look up into Rem's, Rem would be shocked she covers her mouth. Naruto would place his shaky hand on Rem and tell her that it's going to be... He would try to say that it's going to be alright, but even he knows that that would be a lie. We have to find Amelia and Roswell, he would think, as he and Rem continue walking through the mansion, stumbling their way. As the two would then find the secret door, they begin to walk underneath it as they see the ice beginning to cover the entire area. What? What could be happening here? Naruto would be thinking as he sees the door. Rem, stay back from that. I sense a ton of energy coming off of the from many spirits or something so powerful that I can't even... Naruto would think this is the door burst open with an icy wind. Naruto would block Rem and himself, using his body as a shield. This is when Puck would come storming out, as an icy cold glacier would shatter the bodies of the witch cultists who had dared to try and harm his daughter. Amelia would be laying there on the ground, completely frozen, and passed on to another world. Naruto would be shocked as he sees Amelia's body. This is this can't be this can't be real, he would think. As Puck would then walk flow over to Naruto. You were too late, Naruto. He would say this, as the cold winds begin to surround Naruto. No. No. The emotional trauma that Naruto would be feeling would begin to awaken something within him, as Puck would even be surprised. This presence, he would think, as Puck would then awaken to his full form, the mansion would burst into destructive flames, as Rem had been killed right in front of Naruto's eyes by Puck. I'll make you pay! I'll make you pay, Naruto would think, as he deep d delves deep inside of himself, pulling all of his chakra out. This is when Kurama would add his power. Naruto began to go full-on ape nine tails mode, as Kurama would burst out of the seal, Naruto's emotional trauma being so damaging that not even Minato's seal could contain it. We can hear the Kyuubi's roar as the Kyuubi, the Nine Tails, one of the most destructive tailed beasts from the Naruto world, begins to battle against the beast of the end, Puck. Puck would then say this, Beast, you were hiding inside of Naruto this entire time. I could sense your dark power even but when we first met. Shut up! I'm going to kill you and eat everyone else that I can find left in this village, Kurama would say, as he then tells Puck that he's going to die. <laughs> Kurama would roar as he rushes towards Puck, him biting and chomping into Puck's neck. Puck would roar in anguish as he begins to battle against Kurama. Naruto is lost within himself as he feels only darkness, with Puck's ice against Kurama's flames of hatred now burning against each other from a roaring inferno. The world of ReZero begins to cry as all of its spirit energy is being taken up by Kurama and Puck now battling each other. As the entire world of ReZero is beginning to shake, being destroyed by the two great beasts crashing around in it. This is when Kurama would create a great tailed beast bomb, as Puck asks what that is. What is that terrifying power? As suddenly Kurama would blast the tailed beast bomb towards Puck, Puck would get completely destroyed by the attack. Puck would then reform himself as he tells him that that much destructive power shouldn't be possible for something that isn't such a great spirit like himself. He would then use all of his power to create the final end of the world, as he brings ice and snow over the entire area. Kurama would roar in rage as he continues battling against Puck. The world would continue to snow out as the end theme, theme credits play for ReZero, with the Requiem of Silence playing, as Naruto inside of his head can only think one thing. Rem. Amelia. Rom. Everyone. I don't want to die. He would think this as he suddenly wakes up again, back with Julius as well as Rem, when they're discussing that they're going to leave. Naruto, are you alright? You've been spacing out there for a second. As Naruto sees Rem, he begins to tear up as he falls to his knees, and then falls to the ground, completely shook as he just realizes what happened. I can't believe. Inside the seal, Kurama is also shocked. I- I escaped the seal! What- what's happening? Why is it back on? 
Karambi pissed off as he wants to talk to Naruto right now. As Naruto falls into the QB's seal, Kurama would demand an answer. What the heck is going on? What happened? Why am I back in here? I have finally escaped your body. Naruto would look up at the QB as he just falls onto his knees, telling him he doesn't know why. He doesn't know what's going on. Naruto would lay still for several, several hours, as they'd be taken back to Crush's place, for where Amelia had still made the deal with Felix to heal Naruto. Naruto would be laying there for a while, as he just remembers what happened in his head, the traumas he had just witnessed and seen, the horrors of which he had grown to know. Naruto would then sit up, as he feels something new. Determination. I need to find that witch cult. What they did, it's unforgivable, he would think. We need to get there faster, he would think, as he tells Rem that they need to leave immediately. Naruto and Rem would get start on a head start, as they start rushing back towards Roswell's mansion. If you guys want to see the next part for What If Naruto was in ReZero, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below what you thought, and subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.